Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be setting up a 100 litre nano tank. Um, welcome back to the guys who used to watch me back in the day on my old marine tank. It's been a bit of a stretch I know, but eventually we're finally back. And to the new guys, uh, welcome. Hopefully you'll stick around, like and subscribe. So this is a second hand tank that I bought. Um, I'm just cleaning it up at the moment with a Stanley knife and some distilled vinegar. Just scrubbing all this uh, residue off. Getting it nice and ready for when the water goes in. Mostly clean, let's hoover all that uh, excess dust and stuff out. And then just finish off the last touches with this um, sponge. It's like, what are they called, a uh, scouring pad. Um, just get all this little bit of... Um, like the stub and stuff that I couldn't get off with the knife, just really give it a scrub, get it all nice and clean. Here's all my dry rock, not too much. Um, again, like I said, it's a nano tank, so I'm gonna give it all the hose down, get any bits of debris and dust and anything like that on there. It is dry rock, I'm not using live rock for the tank, um, just for the simple reason that, you know, I don't know what's gonna be in it, so with it being a nano tank, I don't want anything in there that can just be like annihilating my tank at any point. So once it's all dry, uh, so I want to wash it all, let it all dry out, and then start working my scape. Just trying different things, and just putting it in different places, and seeing what catches my eye, and seeing, which I, seeing what I like. And now basically, we just do the same again with the sand. So I uh, put all my sand into this polystyrene box thing, and then recycle, don't forget to recycle. And then I filled it with water, and I just kept washing it and rinsing the sand through. Just keep stirring it and agitating it and just letting all that murky water run off. Just want to get it as clean as possible before we put it in the tank. This will just eliminate that need to let, I mean, your tank will need to clear anyway, but the less dust and rubbish and stuff that's in the sand, the better to start with. Once it's all the, um, once it's all been cleaned, I left it to dry for a day and then just put it in. Started trying to move it around and then just get a nice even, even spread of the sand. It's about an inch, maybe a little bit more thick. Okay, so once you're happy with the tank and you've got your scape looking how you want it and your sand in, this is when you're gonna start putting all your little accessories on. So this is my light. Um, just whacking this on it in the middle, it just attaches to the lip and then screws on. Let there be light. I've also got, uh, which I forgot to film, it's off camera. I've also got a heater and a return pump in the back of the tank, which I will show on a future video. As well as them, in the back of the tank, there is some sponge media for collecting the um, large bits of debris and stuff and rubbish that's in the tank, followed by some biological media. So, we had a bit of an epic disaster, really. Um, tank leaked. So I've sealed it. Well, I took everything out, 
took all the sand out, water, rocks, everything, sealed it, and we're trying again. Hopefully it works this time because the wipe wasn't happy when I wet the floor. Okay, so all good. Sealed it, water stayed in fine, everything was great. So I went to the shop and bought these two little lovelies. Got a black um, clownfish and a common clownfish, both us Laris. Um, so yeah, let's get these guys in and get them acclimated. To start the acclimation process, I just floated the bags at the top of the tank, just so that the, the water in the bags to the same temperature as the water in the tank. Took them out and I've put them in, still in their bags in that little polystyrene multi-purpose box. And then I'll put one end of this um, thin tube into the tank, tie a couple of knots in it, um, not too tight, and then suck on the other end, start the siphon, pop that in the bag. Now what this will do is it'll drip um, my tank water drop by drop into their bag water, which will slowly bring the parameters of their bag to the same parameters of my tank. So as you can see, if you look carefully, slowly, slowly dripping drops of water into the bag. If you find it's dripping a little bit too fast like this one is, you can just tighten the knot on your line a little bit and that'll slow down the drip. So, the fish are called Rocket and Groot, and as you can tell by his voice there, the youngest is pretty excited to have him in the tank. He helped name him, so you know, he's happy. So both clowns are in, they're um, just chilling under that little cave at the moment, hopefully they move about a little bit and find somewhere more in the open to host, but there they are, they're in, they're happy, probably seen it. So thanks for watching guys. Um, Please subscribe for more. I will be doing updates on this tank as often as possible. Every time I get new fish or coral or anything like that. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. And you can follow me at all of these things here. Um, Instagram, Twitter, and um, even Twitch. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Laters.